Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to learn about Python console or the Python command line. So we have already installed two softwares. So the very first thing which we have installed is actually Python and the next thing which we have installed is nothing but this JetBrains PyCharm which is nothing but an integrated development environment for Python. Now let me explain you the brief difference between the two. So when we will be writing uh, big programs then we will be using PyCharm which is nothing but an IDE which will help us to manage all the files together and it will allow us to write the code in a much more better way. But it is also necessary to learn how the Python console actually works. So for this section at least we are going to go with the Python console and we will be writing code in the Python console itself. So in order to open up the Python console what you need to do is that because this part is extremely crucial because there are slight differences between Python and other languages. Okay so we have successfully printed out hello world on the console and the next thing which we are going to do is that we are going to perform some mathematical operations on this console. So for example let's say you want to add in two numbers together so let's say you want to add 200 and 300 so in Python you could simply type in 200 plus 300 and when you hit enter as you could see you have the result now similar to addition operation you could also perform subtraction so if you type in 200 minus 300 as you could see you get a negative result now you could also perform multiplication of things like 75 multiplied by 32 and you are going to have an answer now not only this but you could also perform some complex mathematical operations like 5 multiplied by 6 and you could also specify in brackets uh, some other operation like let's say 5 plus 89 and even if you type in a complex mathematical expression and if you hit enter I guess I missed a multiplication sign here so if you type in a mathematical expression or a complex expression and if you hit enter as you could see you are still going to have a result now these things might sound basic but we need to go through them because they will be needed when we go for some complex sections so the next thing which i want to mention is that there are actually two ways in python by which you could divide numbers so the simple way is like doing 500 divided by 100 by using a single slash so if you type in a single slash as you could see you are going to get a float here now float is some value which has a decimal point so in this case as you could see even if we didn't need the digits after the decimal point still it printed out the result to be 5.0 now if you were to eliminate the decimal point what you could do is that you could simply type in 500 and instead of using a single slash you could have simply used double slash here and type in 100 and let's see what is the result this time so if you hit enter 
as you could see we get an integer value so this time we don't have any decimal value or float value instead we get the result as an integer value now the next thing which i want to mention is the divide by zero error now divide by zero error is like there in almost each and every programming language so for example if you were to divide something by zero you are going to get an error so if you take any random number and if you try to divide this by zero as you could see you are going to get an error which says zero division error or division by zero so that means you cannot divide any number by zero so even if you have some mathematical expression So the thing with float is that even if you use a float in any of the mathematical expression, your answer is going to be in the form of a float. That is, it is going to have a decimal point in it. So if, if you were to multiply simply 6 and 3, you will get a normal answer which is 18 but as you could see if we multiply 6.0 with 3 you are going to get 18.0 and the same rule applies to addition as well. So if you type in 22.0 plus 15 you will get an answer as 37.0 instead of getting 37 so that's it for this lecture and my main intention in this lecture was to get you guys familiar with the python console or the python command line and show you guys how you could write in a single line of code in python console and execute it by just pressing enter so we have learned about the python console we have learned how to perform some simple mathematical operations and we will be learning more complex uh, operations such as how to calculate exponent of a number and everything like that in the upcoming lectures. So that's it for this lecture and I highly recommend you to go through the entire first section. I know it is going to sound silly and it is going to be a little bit boring and like I know this stuff why I'm going to why am I actually learning this but the thing is that if you go through the entire first section you will find the other sections much more easy. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next class. Thank you.